uh, Mihai Nestor coming out here for Kazakhstan for uh, Stana Islands. And, uh, 29 year old and, uh, in his second appearance uh, Nestor lost to Tony Yuka in uh, week four and, uh, it's the last 16 the world championship in 2011 he and he's uh, uh, a big hitter and he's coming up uh, it's the Thunder team captain and the World Series of Boxing icon Clemente Russo was a perfect 17 and 0 of the SB record. And here comes uh, Clemente Russo, totally focused. He was the individual champion last year. Of course, the team captain, as I said, of the Thunder. But, uh, he's a big hero. But, uh, the one that the, the fans uh, come to see. Away a little bit of height this evening, but uh, weighing in 92.5 kilos, perfect uh, weight for him. Of course, with the perfect record, 17 and 0. Every time he comes out, he puts that on the line. And it's uh, of course a very confident fighter. Proud pleaser through and through. And, uh, certainly tonight, uh, each of the bouts have been uh, of the highest quality. No doubt we'll continue that with the final one. And uh, Mihai Nestor, as I said, is a big hitter. He'll be looking to pound one in there on the Clemente Russo. But Russo is such a fast mover difficult to lay a glove on him. So, uh, both fighters just about ready. Totally focused. Clemente Russo. So it gets the job done. So we get ready for the, the final bout here this evening. And uh, Clemente Russo against Mihai Nestor, the Romanian. See there's a big, big man coming forward. Russo want to just keep out of uh, a range early on, use his speed. Quick darting uh, left, unleash the right. Russo, of course, likes to go upstairs and down. Jimmy likes to weaken his opponent with uh, a couple of body blows before unleashing. Left to the top of the head, followed by a quick right. Force back, but you can see there. So quick on his feet to stay out of the way. And uh, Nistor comes set forward and down, trying to throw out uh, a right and follow that up with a left. So far uh, this year, much of uh, Russo's wins have been uh, routine. He's uh, one on points, he's been ahead. And, and lost a, a round. And, uh, early on here, he's really moving around quickly, staying 
out of trouble. Finding the shots with impunity. And he is again just drawing the knees are forward. And ends up swinging at the fresh air. Shuddering right down the body. <laughs> Left finds its target. He starts charging forward here. We've seen that. Uh, so onto the, the ropes for a moment. Up well, again moves quickly away, just leaning back. Easter is uh, rumbling forward here. Russo doesn't want to get involved in uh, chasing. enough to take it. L'unico modo per fermarlo perché viene se tu cominci a correre indietro, lui ti viene avanti indietro. L'unico modo per fermarlo gli devi sganciare quei ganci. Quando arriva una volta il gancio destro, una volta il gancio sinistro, li prende tutti e poi stagli addosso. Fagli fare fatica, va bene, eh? va molto bene, però devi essere preciso che se lo chiappa lo sente eh? perché se lo viene a prendere attenzione a quei schiaffi sì. ok eh, uno da mavia sì. ok porta questo calcio sinistro a schiaffo e montante destro respira ci danno dall'altra parte okay. andiamo andiamo come attenzione questo è un set for the second round and uh, the first round where Clemente Russo was on the on his bike around the ring staying out of reach and uh, just delivering the blows but uh, certainly his corner want to see him if he's going to start going backwards to uh, change direction quickly and uh, not keep going on the one direction, which makes it easier for Nister to, uh, to cut him off. are going to be the real scorers and he goes for the body comes the uh, come shield that will be cleaned clock stopped of course Shots away there. It's forward again, but uh, running straight into Russo. And Russo pinned back on the, the, the ropes there, and I think he's just uh, opened the cut below uh, Russo's eye as well. Nestor with his aggressive stance. It's, uh, Clemente Russo a few problems. You can see the blood coming out there the cheek. He's been 
caught again, Russo. Really had the work in this second round. It's a different uh, contest. And, uh, Big bullish. <laughs> Nistor coming forward, the head's down as well. That's, uh, trying to work that wound. She will now have to be looked at by the doctor. Charging forward there, the head down, that didn't please uh, the home support or the thunder corner. He's charging forward, real battle now, the second round. Again, he's sort of leaning with the head, he's sort of trying to keep out of the way, very scrappy. A few whistles around the crowd, they don't like me. Easter's uh, tactics. Adrenalina. Running repairs. So that cheek wound. Deep cut there. Coming about when uh, Nistor can charging forward and uh, connected very well as uh, best shot of the contest so far from uh, the Romanian. From there, when he saw the blood, he was on the chase ahead, down uh, while swinging. Uh, may have just shaded that uh, second round. Russo knows he's in a contest here now. He's got to use his boxing skills. He's set uh, ring craft. Stay out of the way. Nistor comes forward again, the aggression. Looking to land a big punch. Just get the body in close afterwards to absorb any counter attacks. So on the run, but, uh, caught there. The head down. And everyone, both competitors get their heads up. Home fans raise their voice. They don't want to be here to see uh, Clemente Russo lose his 100% uh, record. And he's reacting to the crowd, feeding off there. Desire. Big right over the top from Russo. Doesn't put a dent in. And he start keeps coming forward. Again, they want the head up. They start, he's going for it by whatever means here. He's come over the left, and that left has caused a lot of damage. It also opened up for the right. And it's Nister here, who looks strong now in this third round, and still a long way to go for Russo. He's hanging in there, he's been rattled. He's got to get his. Uh, Boxing craft back, he's got to do the boxing, he's been weakened again. A couple of body blows there from Nistor. Again, the shoulder goes in, finds the, the cheek of uh, Russo. Russo's got to get the head up, got to move. He's finding it difficult. Bled in those legs at the moment from Russo. Nistor. Mountain keeps coming forward. Russo turns away there. And uh, Nistor again comes forward. Again the head throwing in. Real scrap here. 
And there it goes, the third round. Again, very close round. On field, that uh, Nister's taking the lead, just shaded it in that third round. And uh, Clemente, Clemente. Russo's been Marley. involved here in the scrap, Marley. not that he wanted to. Lavoro, fallo stancato, lavoro! Devi giocare con l'astuzia, Clemente, non puoi metterti a fare la forza, capito? Anticipo sulla velocità, sulla velocità, andiamo Clemente. Come sta? Getting ready for the fourth round. Russo a bit slow out from his corner, he's got to start to be more technical. This has been a scrap and he's lost it. He's got to stay away from Nister. But Nister's all over him again. It's better from Russo, the combination, the right and the left. And again, good right. And Russo needs to keep stepping it up. And again, the head's down. Home support unhappy with that. Nister comes forward. He's been walking into that. And Russo is using a forearm now, which the referee indicates he should stop doing. But uh, one feels he may not. He's just going to keep coming forward, looking to, uh, by whatever means, get close to Russo, get in inside and he's doing it again he's finding his target and when he does russo is forced back he's got to dance away out comes the uh, gum shields again there's tension around the uh, magellanum forum this evening they don't want to witness a defeat in the corner either and he start big hard hitter has come out again Russo, that's better. He doesn't stop Nistor, he just keeps coming. And take the hits. The home fans, they raise their voices as uh, Nistor comes over with a wonderful left, and that's really sent to uh, Russo reeling here. He is hanging in here on this, in this fourth round, there's no doubt about that. Really felt that left, that stung him, that shook him. He's got to get away, he can't get away. He's going backwards, and Nistar is coming forward. Unstoppable force here from the Romanian at the moment. This fourth round could be the key to this contest. And Russo is gulping in the air. He's hanging in. Nistar looks strong, he's focused. You can see Russo's face puffing up as red, the cut as well is a beacon for Nestor. And Nestor is uh, again getting in close. Comes forward, the head down, aggression comes in with a combination. Nister over the top. Clemente Russo is being rocked as he's never been rocked before. In the last 10, Nister one fails, has taken this round again. Oh, and that's a tough one. Russo breathes it in. That's it. Got to try to stop Nister. It's gone that Nister's way once more. One feels that round. Clemente Russo has got to dig deep. He's got to find something. The big punch, the big combinations. He's got to stop this big man in his tracks. But can he? As we've seen the replays, cut forward once again, Nister. And that has been the key so far. 
Se non gli dà un warning, se non gli dà un warning, se non gli dà un warning dell'arbitro. Fifth round, are we going to witness Clemente Russo's first ever defeat in World Series of Boxing? He's got so much to do in this fifth round if he's going to save his 100% record this evening. And Mister again looks strong. He's coming forward. Russo's got to find the big punch. He's got to stop his man. That's the only way this evening is going to keep his record intact. Mister comes forward again. And Martin is finding his target again. Russo is hanging in there. He's not launching an attack at all. He's right on the back foot. There's no power coming through. He's just taking the best shots and he's just forcing Russo on the back foot. It's a tired Clemente Russo. But a 17 and 0 record in World Series of Boxing is going to come to an end unless something incredible happens. And Russo. That's the right there, but again, he's still. He's on top of this. He looks, he looks fresh as well. A lot fresher than Russo. The home fans again raise their voices, but one feels it's a, a hope more than a, anything and any real belief that their man can pull this out of the fire. Has he got something? The fighting spirit of Russo, but he's come up against a big hitter and a tough, tough competitor. Been there in the European Championships, of course. He's the second uh, bout in World Series of Boxing, and it's going to be the biggest prize of his career. Just 22 years old, what a prospect he is, Mihai Nisar. He's put his name out there, and he's coming forward again, and he's being aggressive, and he's got Russo right over the ropes. Russo trying to find something, but time is drifting away. Goes for the big right. Throws the left, it looks tired. The mouth is open, he's gulping for air. Clemente Russo, it's Neister's to take here. Come forward again, stopping his tracks momentarily, but he's in again. Both competitors while swinging were inside the last 10 seconds. And Clemente Russo is a spent force, one feels. And Mihai Nisar will have taken this. He knows it, Clemente Russo knows it. The corner, the Thunder corner know it. And uh, the crowd know it as well. Clemente Russo, the captain, undefeated, never beaten in World Series of Boxing. That record is going to end now this evening. Wait for the judge's decision, but uh, it will be close. But, uh, one feels that uh, Bistor has picked up the victory, and it will be uh, one and only victory for uh, the visitors tonight, Astana, Arla, Arla's, uh, Kazakhstan, but what a scalp it will be, that of Clemente Russo, the icon of World Series of Boxing, stopped by the rising star, Mihai Nistor. Judges have made their decisions, we're just waiting for uh, Clemente Russo to... Uh, Join the referee and uh, Mihai Nister for the decision. Split decision. Split decision. 
Clemente Russo's 100% record. 17 and 0 comes to an end. It's a better, better defeat at home for Clemente Russo. But what a victory for my Mihai Nisor. He has done it, and he will celebrate. This young Romanian boxer is one to look out for. He stopped the icon, the legend of World Series of Boxing, and. Uh, the local fans, they can't believe it, but tonight we have witnessed history. Clemente Russo has finally lost in the World Series of Boxing, and he is distraught about that. But all credit to Mihai Nistor, what a victory for him. And for uh, Kazakhstan, Astana, Ireland's Kazakhstan, they show why they are top of the table, but tonight overall it goes the Thunder's way. Thunder have taken the victory. The, uh, maybe the gloss wiped off it slightly, but uh, 